Welcome to this first video in how to use ImageJ and how to look at the visible human project images. I'm going to get this started by teaching you how to use ImageJ. Basically just click on the ImageJ icon and the toolbar will come up. What you're going to want to do is load an image sequence and the way that you do that is you go to File, Import, then Image Sequence. And then what you're going to do is you're going to navigate up to whatever file it is that you want to get. The way that I'm going to do that is to go to Virtual Dissections here, Virtual Dissections 2016 to 2017. Double click on that. I'm going to go to the back and double click on the back. Then I'm going to go to Virtual Dissections uh, Visible Human Files. And I'm going to load the L-Spine Sagittal. And I'm going to double click on the first one. And then I'm going to hit OK. And all of these files are going to load. You can see that there's 505 files. These are all of the lumbar spine and they are in the sagittal plane. And that's the plane you can think of as being uh, what you would, if you could look at somebody from the side and had sort of x-ray or sort of slicer type vision, that's what you would get in the sagittal plane. So I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to click on that. If I drag the slider over, you can see I'm going through the kidneys. I'm starting laterally. I'm going toward the midline. Here I'm right in the midline. And then if I go, keep going, I'm going to go out the other side. You can see me going back into the other kidney. So let's look at a couple of anatomic structures here very quickly. These are the vertebral bodies. They're pink because they contain red marrow, marrow that makes red blood cells. These are the intervertebral discs, the ligament that runs anteriorly and in a long longitudinal plane along the fronts of the vertebral bodies is called the anterior longitudinal ligament. The ligament that runs along the backs of the vertebral bodies posteriorly in the longitudinal plane is called the posterior longitudinal ligament. These are the spinous processes back here. I'm going to show you one more ligament. This is the ligamentum flavum. It's uh, I think in Latin that means uh, yellow ligament. And of course there's an interspinous ligament and a supraspinous ligament also. That should get us started. Thank you very much.